Ulanzi's coverage of IBC 2023 is brought to you by Ulanzi Video Accessories, Small Rig, Small Rig, Big Dreams, Jiyun, Make It Real, and Godox, Embrace Creative Possibilities. Hello, we're at IBC 2023 and uh, we're at the Western Digital uh, booth, uh, Sunday's professional booth actually, and uh, we're talking to Ruben. Hello, Ruben. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is actually the second time that we're speaking uh, to each other in IBC. The last year we also talked. We have um, three new products, um, uh, actually technically um, uh, Four. We have two new uh, CF Express cards, which are our Pro Cinema CF Express Type B cards. We have them in 320 and 640 gigabyte capacities, featuring a write speed, uh, sustained write speed of 1400 megabytes per second, which makes them perfect for any kind of high resolution, um, uncompressed recording. So if you want to uh, record in 4K, 6K, 8K, uh, ProRes, for example, that is the card you would want to use. And previously you had um, also CF Express, Express Type B cards, Correct. which were in different capacities and I think slower, right? Um, sustained ride speed is really what it's about. So we have on the uh, SanDisk Professional, we have a VPG 400 card, for example, but also on the SanDisk brand, we have CF Express cards. So um, this is really to complete our range there. Okay, uh, so these are the, the two new CF Express Type B. Correct. And, uh, Two other products that you have, which are, I think, very, very interesting, are these two that you see here. Can you explain a little bit about them? Of course. So um, these two are something we launched yesterday. So um, they're called uh, the G Drive Project and um, the G Drive um, Mirror. Both are um, ProBlade enabled. So ProBlade is actually what we spoke about last year. It's our um, new uh, storage ecosystem for, work for workflow and for creative professionals. Um, the core of it is, is this really, which is an NVMe based um, SSD. We have it in one, two and four terabyte capacities. And um, what we have with Project and Mirror is the first time combining HDD and SSD technology in, in one product. So if you look at this, what it is, it's basically a um, super fast uh, enterprise class Ultrastar um, HDD, three and a half inch HDD, um, which goes up to 22 terabytes in capacity. Um, but this product also does feature the ProBlade Max slot. So um, you can slide in, yeah, there you go. You can slide in this. And this now combines really up to 22 terabytes of um, HDD storage and up to four terabytes of SSD storage in one product, one beautiful um, solid enclosure, which is connected via Thunderbolt 3. That doesn't only give you a secure and fast um, connection, it also allows um, features like daisy chaining, so you can um, uh, hook up another up to five um, Thunderbolt 3 devices to it. Um, now this is project. Mirror is basically the um, uh, uh, bigger version of it, the two bay version of it, if you want so. Uh, while this is one three and a half inch HDD, this comes with two three and a half inch HDDs and um, as a RAID system. So you can uh, configure to RAID zero or to RAID one out of the box. It's configured to RAID one for data redundancy and maximum performance. And um, you can do the math yourself. Um, <laughs> two times 22 terabytes, so this goes up to 44 terabytes of capacity if you use it in RAID 0 mode. Um. And, and both of them are already available, as you said. Uh, and what else, I mean, you can use, oh, the, this I think in, from a from workflow perspective, the way that you, you would use both of these, I think, is basically you shoot something with this, uh, yeah. And you maybe you can mention that there is already now on the market. I don't know if you want to show this. Uh, we have now. Sure, why not? Condor Blue came up with um, basically a handle which yeah. where you can put one of your uh, SanDisk um, units basically inside, mm -hmm. record into this, and then when you're done, you take whatever it is in here, you put it in one of these and you edit out of the fast drives, right? Yeah. Because it's much faster than the HHD, of course. Uh, you edit out of this, and when you're done, you can transfer everything into the, the large drive for storage or for yeah. archiving or whatever, and then 
use it again. You can for basically your next shot delete and... it, clean it up, uh, use it for the next shot. Yeah. yeah, I mean you've perfectly described it. No, now, I... so there's nothing I have to add really. <laughs> what what I like about this concept is that you're basically not wasting because usually what we are doing and what I think a lot of uh, other users are doing, we use the fast uh, storage either NVMe or. Mm -hmm other SSDs, uh, we use them to edit, uh, but we always have to uh, use like SD or uh, CF Express A, B, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, to bring it to the computer, unload it into an SSD or to an internal NVMe or something, and then move it to like mm -hmm. longer storage. In this, we have everything in one thing, in one system, Correct. and this connects to the camera directly. So. Somehow this is a much sleek, I don't know, sleeker or uh, slimmer. It's a very neat workflow. Yeah, you just exactly. skip a couple of steps. So if you use products like the Condor Blue, for yeah. example, with a camera or our, um, you can also use our um, ProBlade Transport yeah. um, to directly connect um, to the camera via USB. If your camera supports um, direct to USB recording, which a lot of cameras do these days, then it's very neat. So you record straight to the ProBlade Mac. Once you're done recording, unplug it, put it in here, do your editing, or maybe do, um, do a backup of everything uh, uh, of the source material you recorded, put it onto the HDD, and then start um, doing uh, your editing and stuff where you really need fast performance on the ProBlade Mac and uh, use the HDD um, uh, a part of the product um, for archiving, for archiving. Whatever, yeah, whatever that's, it is. That's the, the, I think that's a fantastic solution. Um, now, in terms of, this is already available right now? It is, yeah, it is. It's actually, um, it's, it's something I'm, I'm very happy about. So if you want to um, purchase these products, you can get them off our website, WD Store today. Um, they're in stock, they're available. Um, if you order them today, they ship tomorrow. Um, and uh, the, um, they will also be available at selected channel partners over the next couple of days and weeks. So yes, they're, they're available and, and, and shipping. Another question. Um, Pricing obviously depends on the capacity, but it starts yes. from around what? Uh, it starts from uh, $359 on the project, and I think, <laughs> I should know, um, well, uh, 659 I think, on the, on the, um, on the, on, on the mirror. Yeah. So um, usually the best way to, because I don't, I must say, I don't memorize all the prices off that's, the top of my head. Perfect. Best place is always go to our website. We have all the prices yeah. there for every country in every currency. We will add it on the screen, uh, I think. Perfect. Uh, for, <laughs> for our viewers, uh, just, just, <laughs> oh, that's fine. But just a question, both of these don't come with a diskless option. So you, you, you basically always buy them with your drives. Uh, with the HDD, yes, yes, yeah. of course. So yeah. they do start at six terabytes, go up to 22. Yeah. Uh, um, and this um, one respe respectively at 12 terabytes up to 14. 44, 44 yeah. um, they don't come with the ProBlade Mac though, yeah. so you would so have you to would purchase have to that separately. Yeah. Yeah. But Correct. I'm guessing that you know people who want to get into the system will probably yes. want to buy yes. maybe more than one of these because it makes sense. T typically, yes. I mean, yeah. the, these are really products for professionals, yeah. for content creators. They're supposed to um, uh, enhance uh, the workflow. Um, so yes, of course, you can buy one and yeah. just use just, one, uh, it's, use still, it's still a great product, but the real power of the system you have when you use multiple products, um, yeah. and you maybe even if you work in a team, for example. No, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, if you have several com uh, cameras, like example, we're shooting right now Absolutely. with two cameras, this can be connected to one, second to the, to the second, you unload everything, unload the second one, and, and then you can work with them, and that's... Correct. Yep. Yeah, that's, Correct. that's a, a super simple workflow. Thank you very much, uh, Ruben. Thanks for your time. Always and, a pleasure. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure that next year we'll come and, and talk to you about even more new products. <laughs> that could very well be. Okay, thank you. Thank you.